for joining. It's been a pleasure to walk you guys through the six most frequently asked questions when thinking about launching a video podcast. Today, we're going to be talking about question number six is the last one, which is how does a video podcast help me expand my reach and grow my audience? And for that, I have a few slides for you. Hello, my friend, how are you doing? Um, I do have a few slides for you. So here's a topic that we're going to be talking about today. How can I grow my audience with video podcasts? And it's not only about growing your audience, it really helps you. The, the fact that you're adding video to your existing podcast or that you're um, adding the whole video podcast strategy to your overall uh, content strategy helps you really expand your reach and grow your audience. And today we're going to be talking about the different ways of how the video podcast can help you do that. So right here, I have a few tips for you so you can, um, you don't have to actually write it down. You can take a print screen. Uh, but tip number one, um, it's in regards to creating macro and micro content. Okay. So one of the immense amount of um, benefits of creating a video podcast is that you have not only the audio piece, but you also have the video. A lot of people are visual people. So by creating a video podcast, then now you have the ability to take that content and actually cut it into small or large pieces. What I mean by that is um, you can literally take the length of the video podcast and then cut it in what we call micro pieces of content, and then you can use it across social media. For example, you can post it to your feed and drive your audience to actually go to the link in bio to go watch the entire video in YouTube. Or you can actually use the 15 seconds um, onto your stories because the stories only allow you to post videos and photos that are up to videos that are up to, um, I think it's 11 or 15 seconds. So you can actually take a clip of the most important piece of the entire um, video podcast and post it to your stories. So that is what I mean with leveraging the power of video podcasts to create micro and macro content that you can post in different places. Now, the next piece is actually using it for your email marketing. Now, for your email marketing, this one is actually twofold. So the first one is you can actually take your existing audience within social media and ask them to sign up for your newsletter to learn more about your video podcast. So that is a way that you can actually grow your audience. If you didn't have an email list, this is a great way to grow your email list because you're driving people to sign up for it so you can grow that audience. Now, the second part of that twofold email marketing is that if you do have an existing audience and you do have an existing email list, then you can email them on a weekly basis with updates about the latest episode for your video podcast. In that way, everybody stays fresh, fresh everybody stays um, on top of the latest episode that you're releasing. So that was um, tip number two with email marketing. Now, tip number three, which is repurposing. This is one of the number one benefits of creating video podcasts, because not only you can cut it into bits and pieces like um, macro and micro content, but then the idea also is that you can take that content and you can use services like rev.com, spells rev.com, to actually get the transcripts from the video. And by doing so, by getting the transcript, which is actually not very expensive at all, once you get the transcript, you can create a blog post on your website. You can take that transcript and add it as your episode notes within your website as well. You can then create a small little quotes that you can post onto your Instagram feed. And you can also take for Instagram and Facebook um, stories and, and also for your live sessions. So as you can see, the number of ways that you can actually reuse and repurpose all this content that you're creating when you're sitting once to create your podcast, you can now leverage all the different bits and pieces to actually put it across multiple platforms. 
with regards to this repurposed one, I also wanted to address that a lot of people focuses on Facebook and, and Instagram. But if your jam is actually within LinkedIn, one of also the benefits of creating video as part of your video podcast or your podcast is that if you were to post this onto LinkedIn, LinkedIn, unlike um, Facebook or Instagram, does allow you to put the URL onto your post. And when you put the URL onto your post, basically you're taking people directly from LinkedIn in driving traffic onto your website. So if that is not an immense or incredible benefit, I don't know what else it would be. So with that, my friends, thank you so much for joining. I really appreciate you listening in. And if you have any questions, let me know. Send me a DM and don't forget to download the top six frequently asked questions when thinking about launching a video podcast. The link is in bio. See you soon and I hope you have a wonderful